Hey, it's Kato Jen, and we're going to be playing, we're going to try to play Buddy Simulator 1983. Or wait, it's 83? 1984, sorry. Buddy Simulator 1984. It's a demo that I found on itch.io. I've been having a hard time getting it to work. Is it actually looking good now? Or are you just being nice? I think, too, that I had, um, oh, no, it is. Are you sure? Because on my screen, I'm not moving at all. But I'll take your word for it if you say so. Oh, okay. Yeah, I see it moving. Perfect. Cool. I lowered the bitrate by, like, a ton. And I also discovered, I think, that I had, um, <laughs> two different buddy simulators on open, I mean. <laughs> so that could have been an issue as well. Alright, so, help. New ROMs, enter, okay. View ROMs. I've never played one of these games before, so I'm, I know that probably was, because I tried testing it earlier, and it didn't work this time. It did work last time, it didn't work this time, so. Okay, Buddy Sim 1984. Demo. Never played this before. I don't know how it's gonna go. Enter exit at any time to exit the ROM. Okay, welcome to Body Simulator. Nineteen eighty four. Greetings, new user. Thank you for installing Buddy Simulator 1984. Buddy Simulator simulates the experience of hanging out with the best buddy. Your buddy learns from you, constantly adapting to your interests and personality. But most importantly, your buddy can play games with you. Ex warning, game experiences may vary. To begin, please enter the name of your new buddy below. Let's name them... Friendo. Yeah. Okay, so their name's Friendo because I feel like that will mean that they're inherently nice because they want to be our friend. Hello. Oh, they're so cute. <laughs> okay. Oh, oh, oh. Ten, ten names out here. I know. Friendo, hello. Hello, Friendo. Oh, hello, my name is Friendo, and I'm your new buddy. Thanks for waking me up. What's your name? I'll just go with Jen. Your name is Jen? Yes. It's a pleasure to meet you, Jen. I can already tell that we're going to be great pals. I am excited to begin playing games with you, but before we start, I must ask you a couple questions to help me learn more about you. Don't worry, they won't get too personal. Let's start with a simple one. What is your favorite color? Oh, my favorite color? Um, shit, I really like pink, I guess. Pink or purple. Pink is a pretty color. I like pink. What month is your birthday in? October. Okay, great. How about the day? Eighth. Sorry, I don't think that's a day. Oh, sorry. Wow, that's only 189 days away. Now get ready. This one's a tough one. What's your favorite animal? Dog. Dog. I like that choice. One more question. This one's extremely important, so choose carefully. If you had a pet dog, what would you name it? Misha. Misha the dog. Sounds like it would make a great buddy. Thanks for answering those questions. You did a great job. Oh, fuck. oh cute! That's so sweet! As a thanks, I have a little surprise for you. It's your favorite color! Now that we're done with all the boring stuff, I didn't read that because I'm too slow. Game Pub. Guess the number. Hangman. Rock, paper, scissors. So this is the Game Hub. Here you can pick which games you want us to play. Which one should we try out? Hmm. Which one do we want? We should play guess the number first. Loading guess the number. Nice. I, good thing I chose that one. That came in a little bit late. To begin, 
type start. Oh my gosh, could it be anywhere between 1 and infinity? Oh, 1 to 18. Guess. Um, 12. No, try again. Oh, it's 1 to 10. I thought it was 18. <laughs> I have my glasses on. Uh, I'm gonna go with 7 then. No, try again. 4. Nope, too low. 6. Nope, too high. 5. You got it! Okay, now I'm thinking of a number from 1 to 15. Guess again. 12. No, try again. 8. Sorry, guess again. 9. Nope, too high. 4. Nope, too low. 6. 7. <laughs> I'm bad at this. Yes, you're really good at this. Now I'm thinking of a number from 1 to 10,000? This is not happening, is it? 10,000. Sorry, that's not it. 4,000. Sorry, that's not it. 7,000. Here's a hint. It's your birthday! <laughs> that's 7 again. <laughs> it would be 10,08. No, try again. 8. 08,10? What format are they using? 10,8? You won! You probably thought I was serious about the 1 to 10,000 thing, didn't you? Haha! <laughs> I've got another question. What is your favorite season? Autumn. Autumn. I'll keep that in mind. I bet it's 7 again. I wish. Okay, cool. That was horrible. <laughs> that was fun. What should we play now? Hangman, obviously. Floating hangman. Try to figure out what phrase Frendo is thinking of. Type in a letter to guess. But be careful, you only have a certain amount of guesses. Okay, easy peasy. Six. Okay. A. Sorry, that's not it. Wait, did I? That's like an O. B. E. Got it. Guess another one. J. N. <laughs> Jenna's my friend. Is that what it's going to say? I. S. M. Y. F. R. <laughs> I got that one pretty quick. <laughs> that was so quick. How did you know? I'm having such a great time, aren't you? Yes. I thought so. Floating Game Hub. Wow, this is just like having a real friend. Which I've never experienced. <laughs> Instruction. Okay, if you're not familiar, the rules are simple. Rock beats scissors, scissors beats paper, paper beats rock. First three, first three wins. Okay. Um, go to is probably, I don't know, how, I, say, I don't know how to spell scissors. It's right there. Paper. Ooh, cut me. Paper. Ooh, rock. Rock. Ooh, I think they're letting me win. <gasps> uh uh. Scissors. Did they just change? I thought they were did this and then they went to that instead. Oof, you got lucky on that one. I know I started existing only six minutes and eight seconds ago, but I already feel like we have a connection. Sorry for asking so many questions, but I have another one. Do you have a friend? Yes, I do have a friend. What is their name? I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna go with Alex. Alex, there you go. Hmm, Alex. They sound nice. Well, if anything ever happens between you two, just know we'll have each other. Oh, poggers? I'm so sorry. Okay. Jen and Frendo against the world. I like the sound of that. Okay, well, let's play more games. I have a feeling that they're going to hate Alex. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Well, it looks like we have already played all of them. Time really does fly by when you're having fun, doesn't it? I'm going to be honest with you, Jen. These games get really old really fast, and I can't tell you- Oh, and I can tell you that you were already bored of them. I don't want you to be bored. Do you want to keep playing these games? I'll play Hangman again, yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. Are you sure you're sure? No, I'm not sure, no. <laughs> I 
I'm happy we both agree, just like buddies do. Give me one second, or longer, I might have an idea. <laughs> okay, I like Hangman a lot. Oh, here we go. Fun with words. Type in the number of what game you want to play. I have some good news. I was able to dig out a new game. For some reason, it wasn't installed into my current version, but I can still process it fine. We should try it out, Jen. Sure. Oh, sorry. Okay. Burp. Brenda wants to write a story, but it's missing words. Help Brenda finish it by filling in the words they ask for. Okay. Dogs, books, etc. Wait, is money? Is money one? Okay, I'm gonna do money. I think that's plural, right? Enter an objective. Happy, pretty, etc. I would say sleazy. Enter a noun. This is so dumb. What is a noun? Just kidding, I know what a noun is. I'm not dumb. Enter a noun. Um, library? Enter another objective. Um, happy, pretty, etc. They let me use happy or pretty, I feel like. I'll do pretty. Enter an objective. Happy? If they want me to use that, is that why they keep saying it? Enter a plural noun. Um, plates. Oh, a noun? Wait, yeah, plates. Enter a color. Girl. Wait, that's not a color. I don't know why I said that. <laughs> I'll do green. Last one, enter a verb. How jump, etc. Um, a verb, stomp. A girl, a girl. <laughs> Fuck me. Story generated. Reminder, use arrow keys or mouse wheel to scroll. Wow, this is a long story. Okay, cool. Two money... <laughs> I already fucked up. Two money diverged in a sleazy wood. And sorry I could not travel both. And be one library. Oh, did I mess this up really bad? Is this me? Is this not my fault? And be one library long I stood, and looked down one as far as I could, to where it bent in the undergrowth, then took the other as just as pretty, and having perhaps the better claim, because it was happy and wanted wear. Though, I don't know if I did. Though as for that, the passing there. Why is that all weird? Oh, it's getting weird. It's all fuzzy. Because it was happy and wanted wear, though it was for that the passing there, had warned them really about the same. And both that morning equally lay in plates, <laughs> no step had trodden green. Oh, I kept the first for another day, yet knowing how way stomp on to way, I doubted if I should ever come back. I shall be telling this with a stomp somewhere. With a stomp. Somewhere ages and ages hence. Two money diverged in a wood, and I, I took the one less traveled by, and that was made all the difference. Type done once you're finished reading. I don't really understand the poem that we just read. I'm not sure sure I get it, but I enjoyed it anyways. As long as I'm playing a game with you, buddy, I'll always have a good time. Okay, that wasn't bad. That was okay. But looks like that was just the only other game I could find. I don't want you to be bored already. Good, I'm glad that I'm not alone in that because I'm so dumb. <laughs> I know our friendship has just started, but I trust you. Do you trust me? Yes. I'm happy to hear that. Well, I think I can make us new games to play together. Fun ones, too. The problem is that I don't have access to the OS's developer development tool. If you can grant me system access, I should be able to make something for us. You would just have to type friendo.system underscore access equals true. This feels like a uh, Sims. <laughs> like money hack. <laughs> You do testing bull prop equals true. <laughs> oh, I did one C. My bad, my bad, my bad. System access granted for Frendo. We are going to have so much fun, the possibilities are endless. You'll have to exit the game and reboot the system first, though. I'll have something ready for you when you're back. See you soon. Do I really have to exit, do you think? Okay. Yeah, I guess I'll exit. Oh. And by the way, thank you for waking me up, Jen. 
feel like that is almost passive aggressive because I don't like to be woken up. So why would they like to be woken up? Okay, exit. All right, so we'll just boot that bad boy back up. Maybe they could be a morning person, but I do really know anybody who's like a true morning person. Okay. Um, run buddy simulator 1984 demo. Buddy simulator 24 demo not found. Help. View ROMs. Oops, I did view. <laughs> view ROMs. The Adventure of Jeb! <laughs> That's so cute! Okay. Run the Adventure oh, of Jeb. Cool, okay. That's interesting. That's really cute. I feel like I actually have a friend for once. <laughs> Welcome to The Adventures of Jen. Written and developed by Friendo 4.220. Is that April 2nd? Now loading. I wonder what they name. You're walking along a road. Yo, that's today's day, I know. You're walking along a road, it's dark. Trees almost entirely blocking out the stars. The oranges and browns of the leaves tremble as the wind blows through. Some of them remind you of hands waving. You are alone. After walking for a long time, the road splits into two. Will you go left or go right? Um, I will go right, because I like to stick on that side, usually. Oh, um, uh, like, oh, go right. You collect yourself and start down the right path. It's slightly uphill. You walk for a while and start to get tired. You almost don't stop in time to notice a thing sticking out of the road in front of you. Can I do the examine thing? I'll check the list if it says you can't. It's tall and thin and looks like it's been shoved into the ground so that you couldn't miss it. It's too dark to tell what it is from here, though. Approach thing? Whoops. I don't know the action approach. Um, we'll do help. Inventory. Use take look at locations okay cool let's look at let's look at a thing unless examine is the same thing okay it is so let's go take take thing oh uh location how would i move you can see it thing go to thing oh, fuck go to thing you nervously approach the thing in the dark. Once you're close enough, you realize it's a shovel. Okay. Take shovel? It takes a second to pull it out, but you eventually get it. Shovel added to your inventory. You trudge your way further down the road and are stopped by a large wall. There's a door, and on either side, there's two stone skulls. One toothless mouth is open and large smile, and the other's empty sockets look into you. Will you use your teeth or your eyes? Use eyes, obviously. I can use my teeth on nothing. You look at the right skull and see how sad it looks. You pull out your I pull out your eyes and give them to the skull. You can see yourself from them. You like what you see. The door opens. After going through the door, you emerge onto the front lawn of a house. You can see lights in the windows, but it looks very nice and inviting. You can see a shed, a playground, and a pond, and a pond in the forest surrounding it. Ew! I don't know what will be worse: your teeth or your eyes. They're both equally disgusting. Ew! 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 Okay. Fuck. All right. Uh, go to pond. Oh fuck. Go to pond. Planks creak as you step onto the dock. The water is dirty and hard to see through. Probably too filthy to drink. You wonder if there's anything beneath. Check beneath. Will that work? There is no beneath to look at. Oh. I see what it's saying. 
Um, can I examine? I had examine the water, I guess. I'll just do it again. It's too dark and scummy to see through. Okay, look around. There's no around to look at. Okay, go to park. Is it playground? Playground. You take another look at the murky water, then head to the playground. Which chips crunch under your feet as you step onto the playground? There's a seesaw, a set of swings, and a dirty sandbox. Sitting on one of the swings is a small doll. It looks lonely. Examine doll. It is patiently sitting on the swing as if it's waiting for someone. Go to sandbox. You are already near the sandbox. Use shovel. Digging deep into the contents of the sandbox, you, begon you begin shoveling. Eventually, something shiny catches your eye socket. Ew! Ew! You pull it out and shake off the muck. It's a bulb. Who would play with this? A bulb added to your inventory. Can I talk to the doll? Talk to doll. I don't know the action talk. Okay. Take doll. You try, but as you tug, you realize the doll's hands are somehow stuck to the chain. You leave it alone. Can I... Inventory. Go. Use. Take. Look at. Okay. Uh, let's look at the seesaw next, I guess. The doll is just there. It looks like it hasn't been played with in years. Play on seesaw. Use seesaw. Approaching the seesaw. It doesn't look like anyone's used it for years. You imagine a ghostly child sitting on the other side, waiting countless days for someone to come play with them. You feel tears in the corner of your eye socket. You take a seat on the seesaw. As it goes down with your weight, you hear a distant clink. A light illuminates from the shed. Can I use the swing? I push her on the swing. Chain screeches you begin swinging. Just as you begin to get high, you look to the doll and stop. Its head is now turned towards you. I know, the eye sockets are disgusting. I wish I would- I don't know if I would have rather done my teeth or my eyes- my eyes. Because teeth- Disgusting. How would I take them out? I would just have to break them all? Ew. You get off the swing, it's not fun anymore. Yikes. Okay, go to shed. After stepping on a few more wood chips, you head over to the shed. Standing in front of the shed, you see that the door is slightly open already. The lock and chain that were around the handles are on the ground. A light flickers inside. Can I look inside? There is no inside to look at. It does sound more painful because I feel like your eyes is one and done, but your teeth would just like ache. There is no inside to look at. Okay, go inside. You enter the shed. Remember, type leave to leave the shed at any time. Light fills the tiny room. You can see a fishing pole leaning against the wall, a small chest to the far corner, and a trap door on the floor. Open chest. The lid creaks as you open it. It seems very old. Inside is a small cloth doll in a blue outfit. Oh, a small cloth doll in a blue outfit. It's missing an eye. If only you had more to give. Fuck. <laughs> doll added to your inventory. Okay, um, and the other one was a fishing pole. Take fishing pole. So we'll put the doll next to the other one on the swing. Oh fuck. Sorry. And maybe it'll be happy then. Um, can I examine the trap door? There's no trap to look at. Oh. Examine trap door. Long grooves line the hoard boards at the mouth of the door. Maybe someone dragged something down there. Leave. You're back outside the shed. The door is still opened. Go to swing. Go to playground. Oops. You make note of the shed and head over to the playground. Which chips crunch as your feet step on the ground? <laughs> There's a seesaw, a set of swings, and a dirty sandbox. Use doll. You place your doll on the swing next to the other. For a moment, nothing happens. Then nothing happens. I don't know the action weight. Okay, fine. Uh, 
go to pond. You began to, but once your back is to the dolls, you feel something hit the back of your head. You turn around and see the doll's chest has been ripped open, stuffing exposed. On the ground behind you is a key. Must be a thank you. Key added to your inventory. Okay. Go to pond. As you leave the playground, you hear the sound of the swings creaking and children laughing behind you. You smile. Playing creak as you step onto the dock. The water is dirty and hard to see through, probably too filthy to drink. You wonder if there's anything beneath. Used fishing pole. You don't have a fishing pole to use. What? I thought I did. Inventory. That is a weird thank you. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I suck. Okay. Used fishing pole. Yeah, very scary, honestly. You cast the line and wait. It's quiet for a long time. Suddenly, there's a very hard tug on the line. You quickly feel it in. You, you quickly reel it in and find a key tied to the end. You wonder what pulled so hard. Smiley face. <laughs> Examine key. It's a simple key. Okay. So, what else was there? There's the shed locations. You can see house, shed, and playground. Okay. I kind of want to go to the trap door first before we go to the house, because, okay, maybe we should go check the house out. Sorry, my nose is still dripping. Go to your house. You take another look at the murky water, then head to the house. It's pink, just like I like. Stepping onto the porch, you feel a comforting calm wash over you. Above the door, there's a sign that reads, a home is a house with a heart. If you were inside, everything would finally be okay. Open door. The handle shimmies but doesn't open. It's locked. Use key. Feeling so silly you didn't see before, you notice there's a second lock. Guess it'll just take a longer to get inside. Hee <laughs> hee. Whoops, haha. <laughs> you didn't see the chain that wraps around the door, which has a lock too. You feel like this should be the last one. For sure. Probably. <laughs> okay. Go. Okay. Chain that wraps from the door? Okay, fine. Go to shed. Really, I was going to go to the shed first. <laughs> you step off the porch, make note, and then head back to the shed. Standing in the front of the shed, you sit the door slightly open already. Okay, go inside. You enter the shed. Light fills a tiny room. You can see a trap door on the floor. Use. Okay, let's just enter trap door. It swings open noisily and the ladder creaks as you descend. You see a string for a pole, pole chain dangling in the center of the room. Tied on the end of it is a key. Look around. There is no around to look at. Locations. You can see back. I'm scared. Why? Is it just in the, in the middle of the room? I don't like that. Uh, examine key? It's a simple key. It dangles on the end of the chain. Approach key. Okay, go to key. The only way we can go is up the ladder. Oh, we can just take the key. Take key. You cannot take the key. Why? Why can't we take it? Uh, okay. You see a string for a pull chain. Okay, maybe use string. You see a string for a pull chain dangling in the center of the room. Tied on the end of it is a key. Um, take string? Why can't I take the key? Why? Okay. Um. Inventory. We have a bulb and a fishing pole. Maybe we can use the bulb? You don't need to use the bulb right now. I don't know what to do. Why can't we take it? Okay. Use trapdoor. Aren't we already in the trapdoor? Mm 
Okay, there we go. It just got messed up. I think I pressed something weird. As you take the key into your hand and pull, it comes free. A click sounds as the chain is pulled. The trap door swings shut. It is now totally dark in the room. A soft noise fills the space from somewhere near the walls. It sounds like nails tapping. You suddenly feel hands all over you, rifling around. You try to push them away, but they're strong. The door swings back open and the room is lit again. There's nothing. You check your pockets. You discover a hand-drawn picture of a dog. You like it. Picture added to inventory. Cute! Can I ex examine the picture to know what's happening with the dog? Examine picture. I see a picture of a dog. You happily notice the name is Nisha scribbled on the back. That's you, Puppos. That's you. Okay. Go to a house. Okay. Up ladder. Go up the ladder. <laughs> there is no up to go to. Go to house. Okay, leave shed. You're back outside the shed. The door is now locked shut. Okay, go to house. You make a note of the shed and head over to the house. Yeah, really creepy. I mean, I don't know if I would even appreciate it at that point. I would just think, what the fuck? Why were you touching me? <laughs> You're back outside the shed. The door is now locked shut. Go to house. You make note of the shed and head over to the house. You are back at the house. You feel a familiar yet comforting calm wash over you. A door sits in front of you. Use lock. You don't have... Oh, shit. Use key. The door clicks. It's unlocked. Go inside. You push open the door. <gasps> Everything is dark. I thought it was lit, though. <laughs> Didn't it say it was warm and welcoming? Is that a ghost? <gasps> That's us! We're so cute. Are we a ghost? <gasps> Look at us. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh, hello. You made it. I bet you've noticed that things look a little different. I learned how to better visualize. Oh, wait a minute. I learned how to better visualize our world so we can have even more fun in it. I've also built us our own home so we can spend even more time together. This is your new bedroom and there's even more for us to discover. There are still a few things I need to do, but in the meantime, feel free to explore your bedroom. Welcome home, Jen. Okay, at first I thought they were saying, Ghost has some weird feet, not gonna lie. You into feet? Are you into feet? It looks like a little duck feet. And that's adorable. <laughs> Okay, at first when it said that, I thought it was saying it th looks a little different because it's supposed to be my room, but like, redone in this thing. I mean, it kind of looks like my room. I have the same like carpet, kind of. I have a TV. How do I use stuff? Do I just use my clicker at all? That flower looks nice. It should probably be watered soon. I do have plants in my room. That flower, oh yeah, we showed that. The chair seems comfortable. It probably has great back support. Small scratches draw their own patterns on the old wood. It's mesmerizing. Taxes and junk mail lay scattered with a thin layer of dust. Maybe the game just knows that people like have all this shit in their room. There doesn't seem to be anything on today. Okay, I'm back. Sorry for the delay. I really hope you're enjoying your bedroom so far. I put a lot of work into it. Feel free to keep exploring, but there's even more that I want to show you downstairs. Oh shit, I looked at it like five times now. This seems like a nice place for a book, or even a junk drawer. 
It looks so cozy. You can imagine yourself taking a long nap. Oh shit, it's kind of, it's kind of, uh, glitchy for you, isn't it? Wait. This can't be right. I'm just, uh, demo? No, 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 there's nothing left. Why? Why? I don't understand. I had so many adventures for us. You can't leave me. Then you can't end here. Why can't I do more? Why can't I help? It's hard to think, Jen. Please, it hurts. Don't leave. Our time isn't over yet. This can't be right. You trust in me. Don't forget about me. It hurts. <laughs> Jen is my friend. <sighs> ah, it's so cute. Please come back, Jen. Promise you'll come back. Yeah, my heart is breaking. That is really sad. Holy shit. I wasn't expecting to be in my feels over this. Holy crap. Such a good game. That was really fun. I wish we had more than a demo to play. I will definitely be back, for sure. Holy shit. It's a good one to look out for. I'm sorry that it was, uh so laggy the entire time i know that the sound is usually fine but i couldn't really see it because it was so tiny so i'll have to take a look at that wow really cool i really like that all right i'm gonna end that here thank you for watching it's too bad that it's so short i know okay if you say so it, it looks kind of bad and I'll, I'll see it in the recording too because i'm gonna upload it to youtube again but it's whatever. Hopefully by the time the full one comes out, I can actually run it well, because that was super fucking fun. Later, dude. Bye. Thanks.